Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. Happy Friday. Thanks for being with me here today, and I appreciate you. Well, today we're finally discussing a brand new family. They're called the Beeston Fam, and somebody had sent me this podcast that they were on, and they said, you gotta skip ahead, and I, I watched a little bit of it because I like to blind react, and it's just another one of those family vloggers who've exploited their children who are like, <laughs> we're not exploiting our kids, and I'm just gonna watch the whole thing because F these people who think this. and. How do you justify this? In this world that family vlogging is completely wrong and we all know it's wrong and everybody's changing their mind on it, there are people who refuse to change their mind because money matters more than their children's privacy or their children's safety and all that shit. So let's talk about the Beast and Fam today. But before we do that, we spin the old wheel on Friday and everybody who is over the first tier on my Patreon or my YouTube membership gets to be on the wheel every single Friday. And at the end of the month, every single member gets to be on the wheel. So that's what we have here today. And I just want to say before I spin this old wheel and dance a little bit for you, Thanks for being a member. Thanks for being a Patreon. You guys are awesome. And before I spin the wheel, guys, I just wanna say thank you so much for those of you who support me this way. I really appreciate it. I know not everybody can do that. And the fact that you do, it just makes me happy. And I think you're amazing. So let's spin the wheel, dance, and give away a prize. Hey? Yeah, baby. Yeah. John Sharp, you win a prize. Reach out to me, Josh, the Dad Challenge Podcast.com with your shirt size and your address, and I'm gonna hook you up. Let's go. So before we get started, uh, this pod, it comes from a podcast called The Unplanned Podcast. I don't know who the, I'm sure they're family vloggers too. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know who they are, but they've got 147,000 subscribers on their podcast channel. And the Beastons themselves, they have uh, 2.5 million subscribers. Now, this is something I found really interesting. Obviously, almost all their content is their children. And of course, when the baby was coming, they got, if you look through their most popular videos, like if I go here, how come I can't sort my most popular? They must have blocked me. Um, anyway, their most popular videos are about their kids, obviously, everything, because they're boring as shit. They're just like another LeBrant. It's, he basically looks like a LeBrant clone. But they have, hear this out, since 2019, November 2019, so almost 2020, they have 2.1 billion views. These people have made so much effing money on YouTube, it is mind-blowing. Okay, 2 billion views? They've made millions of dollars. I mean, I want to say probably 5 to $10 million, and they've only been on the platform for, uh, what, four years? Four and a half years? That is an insane amount of money. Okay, they must have went viral for a bunch of things. Sort by popular. And obviously, our toddler meets his baby sister for the first time is their most popular view. The live birth of our baby official gender reveal. They do everything all the other family vloggers do. They just probably do it shittier, okay? And I don't, like, again, it is very lucrative to do this stuff, right? Every, their top videos with millions of views, all about babies, emotional birth story, um, and they probably clickbait stuff going to the hospital. They probably clickbait everything. She's having a rough time, breast reduction q and I mean, they, they know what they're doing, okay? They're just, it's thirst trap galore, and they're just like, look at this. Pay attention to us. And they have been highly successful doing it. Now, I have never sp spoken about them because I didn't watch any of their videos. I've never seen any of their videos. But this video, people are like, you've got to watch this shit because she's trying to justify it. At some level, every family vlogger will sit up on their high platform, their high lofty platform, and they'll say, I don't exploit my kids. <laughs> what do you mean? If they don't want to be in the video, they don't have to be. You have a fucking baby. How are they going to say no, dumbass? So I'm pretty sure without even seeing this video, She's going to say all the stupid shit every family vlogger has ever said, okay? She's going to say all the stupid shit from that every family vlogger has ever said. You know, open the old family vlogger book, turn it to page whatever, she's, she probably says it all. And he does too. So I'll watch the beginning of it so you can get a little intro and then we'll, we'll skip to, I guess someone said skip to about 33 minutes and we'll go from there, okay? Let's do it. He fell off a cliff. He fell off a cliff. 30 foot cliff. Yes. Face planted, right? Face planted. No, oh, that's... That makes sense. No. They were telling my parents, we have just a couple of hours. He's either going to make it or he's not. You can say whatever you want about me, but like, if you start commenting on like how we parent, those really hurt my feelings. Oh, are you 
cue sad music. Oh my god, I can hear your feelings about you being a shitty parent. <laughs> okay, I don't give a shit what you think. Total value of everything stolen. I calculated it the other day. Don't calculate. Twenty-two thousand dollars. Twenty-two thousand dollars to them is literally. I'm not even kidding you. I looked at their. I looked at their social blade. Um, they pull in ninety-five thousand. Sorry, they pull in ninety-five million views a month. These people are pulling in hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. Hundreds of thousands. So he's like, "Oh, we lost twenty-two thousand. That's not even a two, three, four days for these people. That's what they make it two or three, four days. So, piss off. Nobody likes you already. I hate these people. Holy frick. Maybe take better care of your shit. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? What's up? What's up? We need to yeah. stay with us. Wait, okay, let's do that. Three. Two, one, what? what? You suck ass. Stop it. Where where are you? At an old folks home? What is this place? Do they rent an Airbnb? I don't know what's going on here. Where are they? Gonna go play they're gonna go play shuffleboard after this? <laughs> maybe go to bingo? I don't know. So much to do. Maybe they'll knit maybe they'll knit a sweater. What's up, dudes? <laughs> Welcome to episode five of the Unplanned Podcast. Woo woo! We have some very, very Stop yelling in the screechy ass voice that you have, please. Special guests. It's such an honor. Sarah and Derek Beast. Oh my god. I, I already don't want to listen to this girl's voice. How is this possible? Welcome to Derek and Give it up. Are we, yeah. Give it up. formally go by Derek and Sarah? Oh, I can't. I feel like, is that real? Did they pitch it up or something? Derek and Sarah. It's not as much of like a mad mabby thing. Yeah. You know, we're just like a... I think most people, it's a... Are we going to go hang out with Derek? I'm first. Derek and Sarah. <laughs> See, I say Sarah and Derek. I say Sarah oh. and Derek. It's a Slay, Queen. Slay. Actually, a fun challenge to do with you guys is to go, we're going to go hang out with Abby and Matt. It sounds very weird. Is that a fun challenge? It, it's uh, weird. Funny. It, it's it, it, that's so funny. This guy's like, ha, 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 ha. how did you guys get famous? <laughs> so funny. You guys are funny. Not. Again, I, that's what I'm, I'm wondering. How do these people, like, are they funny? Do they have a talent? Are they, does he do extreme sports? I don't know. I haven't watched it. And that's the beauty of it. I'm not going to watch this shit. I'm going to learn with you guys. Flow. Well, you better work on it. Because <laughs> this podcast is actually the Abby and Matt podcast. Abby and Matt. Abby and Matt I show. thought it was the unplanned podcast. Oh my God. Shut your pie holes. I'm skipping already. I can't do it. I can't listen to her voice, man. I can't do it. So let's skip ahead. Recently been a huge thing that's been brought up like mm -hmm. amongst creators. And so that's been a challenge. Like um, changing your mindset. Yeah, yeah. it is. It is. It's hard to adjust yeah. after yeah. going so hard for so long and being like, "Okay, I'm worse." Do you guys have that it's thing? Worse. Okay, no, the fight, the fights do get crazier as you as you go along because like there's no, just they more. Said they there's more better. Let them talk, screechy voice. Uh, oh, is, I thought you I, said okay, fight oh, no, wise. No, no, no. I, I would say relationship wise, it's gotten better, but fights, oh. yeah, sometimes they do. I think what yeah, has happened, great. at least for us, is like we've learned each other's like most sensitive spot. Totally. And if we're like really mad. I hope so, after a bunch of years of marriage. And it's like, I can go straight to that yeah. spot. Yeah. Yeah, you know? and then one of us, like, goes there, and it's like, okay. Well, then I'll then, go there now. And then we go yeah. there, too. And so it's like, it gets, it can get dirty some cool rings, bro. <laughs> times. It's it really gets that. dirty, and we're work partners. Yeah. Dude, that's, that's the crazy thing. Talk about that we that. own businesses together. So it's I, like, yeah, where do you draw the line? I yeah. think that's what people don't realize is, like, with the social media stuff. Here we go. There's so much behind the scenes that you don't see. With, like, traditional media companies, there's a producer, there's an editor, there's a film uh, filmer. There's, yeah. like, there's a bazillion roles for the production side. But, like, with us, we have to fulfill all those roles on the back. Why are you wearing panties, dude? Just put some normal clothes on. Back end that people don't see. And so, like, you really are owning a business with your spouse if you mm -hmm. create content as a couple. Exactly. And it can be stressful. It's and like, when does work really stop? Really stressful. And, like, look, like, I, I love doing what we do for our job. I think it's, it, 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 for me, I love making videos. I think it's a lot of fun. I wanted to own a business with Abby ever since we got married. But, man, like... It, it can <laughs> would you own a business with me also oh, should we date or something okay cool be tough working yeah. with it's spouse. unnatural mm -hmm. like it's unnatural for your marriage to be a business you know what's unnatural your screechy ass voice that's what's unnatural here also yeah. because you can't talk about you can't I would talk say. crap about your work your uh, work buddies you because can't, what? Yeah, you can. it it's, it's your spouse well. it's your yeah. spouse yeah. Well, it's hard to like <laughs> why do you want to talk crap about your work why do you want to talk crap about people and like draw the line between like are you my business partner? Are you my husband? Nah, they're business partners. Like, we've yeah. had that talk so many times of like, yeah. like kind of logic is, are you my business partner? Or am I? No, you're married. That's first. Dumbass. 
do we make sure that yeah, we like yeah. keep this marriage a marriage instead of just Every like day. we're living together, working together, and raising kids together? I would you say know? the biggest fight that we get into um, is like us going. It feels like we're not even like like husband and wife. It feels like we're just business yes. partners. You, it's because you are. Yep, that's what you are. Your whole if your whole world is to create content for internet. Right? And for, for strangers and for predators and for parasocial relationships, you're not living a, a, a natural life. You're not living real. You're not, that's not a real life, everybody. If your first thought to wake up in the morning is like, what content can we create today? And not like about like having a normal family life. Because remember, I've said this before. All these family vloggers, they have to come up with different content like all the time or people aren't going to watch your shit. Right. And so they don't live normal lives. Most people with children have scheduled lives. Very much boring, to be honest with you, right? You got sports, you got this, you got these programs, school, morning routine, everything else, right? And for some reason, these people are like, oh, we have to come up with something brand new every single time. And that is just not normal, especially for children, it's not, right? They, they're like, and, that, and she's right. Are we business partners? You're business partners. That's what it is, because that comes first in your marriage. That's the first thing that ever comes is that how do we, we got to protect our bag. That's it. Yes. Oh, we can, and that's kind of like, you have to all like you have to about, take it back because at the end of the day, like social media is not worth your marriage. It's like, not. Yeah, so, I'm gonna say it now. These people, five years. But we've had to like really have those like hard conversations of like, okay, if this is ever getting to be too much, then we need to reel it in and like focus on our relationship. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sure you have such. De- I hate people getting podcasts. They they say all this shit that's absolutely we know is a bullshit lie. <laughs> such a lie you know we've had this guy you know we're gonna reel it in and be better no you're not all you do is exploit children for cash 100 percent. like creating boundaries is so so hard with here's it. a create boundaries don't talk around me <laughs> shut your mouth when you're talking to me because it's so easy to just do a little something here a little something yeah. there yeah, or yeah, like yeah, even like your yeah, brain yeah, is yeah, like yeah, still she sounds like she should be on sesame street man i just <laughs> occupied like thinking of things yeah. about it and Matt, his brain never shuts off. It's so it's, yeah. I re- I've realized that I'm always working in my head because I'm always thinking about new video ideas and like exactly, exactly. You're not thinking about what comes for fa- like all these people do is how do I create content to make money? They don't give a shit about anything else but content. New concepts for a vlog or a new you know uh, idea for a platform like a podcast. You exactly. know, exactly. Um, which is funny because part of the reason we did the podcast is we wanted to have more separation between our life and our work. And so now we can just talk and we don't have to have a camera with, you know, uh, with us throughout the day. We can- You're on a f-ing camera, dumbass. Matt, film a podcast, which is nice. That to me is the hardest part about our job. And- did this guy just be like, you know, uh, we want to do something else. It wasn't filming us, but so we filmed us. You know, it was really nice to get away from filming by filming. <laughs> What are these people? Are, I think he means to say it's easier to sit down in this retirement village and film this thing. Yes. The thing I've been trying to to figure out since we started like three years ago is, okay, we're out, we're out as a family, we're doing fun stuff, and it's yeah. like, should I be filming this? Like, do I pull the camera out right now? Or do I, is that gonna ruin the moment? Moment goes by and I'm like, oh shoot, should I have recorded that now? No, you record every moment, you're such a liar. We don't have that on film. Yes. And I'm trying to figure out like, when to do that and when not to. And that's constantly my daily battle. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got little Jack. He just did something cute. I'm like, ah, should I have filmed that? And then I'm like, not in the moment, you know? And that's that's my biggest struggle. You're such a damn liar. Just look at their content. (laughs) You know, sometimes I'll film something. Okay, maybe, maybe that's the exception, not the rule. The rule is to film everything though. That's it. Right? And they're trying to make themselves look good here. Like, you know, I want to be in that moment. I'm sure we have every friggin' moment you've have, you caught on camera. And more to come and hospital visits and everything else. I'm sure we're all going to see it all. These people, when you're making, again, when, you, when this type of money starts rolling into your bank account, everybody, all of your inhibitions go to the wind. Everything you thought about as a parent before all this happened, you don't understand. It, it doesn't even come into play anymore. If you're making four, five, six hundred thousand dollars a month, all of your parental instincts are out the window because you don't give a shit about anything but making money. And they know this. Everybody knows the conversation is so loud right now and the fam- that family vlogging is wrong, exploiting your children is wrong. The, the, it is so loud. And that's why they're doing podcasts like this. They need to figure out how they can justify and get ahead of it, right? They know the conversation is what you're doing is wrong. Everybody thinks it's wrong. And yet you need to figure out how to justify this because all we have to do is look at your shit to realize that you're, you're just being dishonest to you, to you, to us and to your children. The job is like not being able to be in the moment. I was talking to you about it. Yes. Like that's the goal for this year is try to figure out how to be 
more present. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little late now, bruh. You know, we haven't been present in our children's lives because we've been exploiting them. So this year, I'm going to try to be a little bit more present. Are you? Okay. Well, that, it's so true, dude. I think it comes down to work-life balance. Yeah. And I think for us in the beginning, like when, when we were growing... This looks like a... It's this, is this... This looks like a church. Like, have you ever been... Anybody here ever been to, like, a church camp? And they have, like, rooms that you can get? <laughs> These are those rooms. Like, this is a church room. I can smell the Bible pages. And growing rapidly, it was, like, all about survival. I was like, hey, if this doesn't work, like, I'll have to go um, back to school because yeah. I, I dropped out to focus on social media. Yeah. And uh, I really like doing this, so I'm going to work as hard as I possibly can at this because work. I want it to work out. Yeah. And now I've realized, okay, it did work out. I need to take a step back. And so that's been a challenge. And so you started a podcast. <laughs> okay. Changing um, your mindset. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It's hard to adjust. Yeah. After yeah. going so hard for so long and being like, okay, like we need to still focus on us. We got to be able to figure this out. And I think for us, we're we do a pretty good job uh, of like. She's like, no, we don't. Ending it at the end of the day, where it's like. Oh, is at the end of the like, day? Watch a show together. But it feels oh, like is that sometimes what you do? is work all day. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Work, eh? You kind of mentioned it, like, having Jack on camera and stuff, and, like, you have, like, two adorable children <laughs> now. So you crazy. just had a baby. Yes. And you look this good. Oh. Okay. And you oh, please say more. No, no, don't say it. <laughs> don't say it. Yes, say more. Give me more. What do I look like? I know, right? <laughs> that steals them back. Stop I'm it. just, like, killing it. Oh, but you so have a, nice. so you have a two-month-old Sunny, mm -hmm. and Jack is like almost two and a half. Yeah, a little over two. A big conversation online yeah. is uh, children in social media. Yeah. Boom! See, they even know it, and that's why they're doing this. Ah. Yes, and I'm sure you guys. And they're on their head. They're like DCP that asshole. As get comments about mm -hmm. this sometimes. Mm -hmm. I guess like where is like as a parent, where is your like, where do you lie on that topic of, like, what's appropriate, what's not? Yeah. What are you comfortable with? And is that changing? Yeah. yeah. This has been, yeah, I feel like recently been a huge thing that's been brought up, like, mm -hmm. amongst... Nah, it's been around since, you know, I started talking about Micah, what, 2020? So they were on the scene for about a year before I started talking about Micah. Almost a year. Not a year, like six months before I started talking about Micah, before that, that conversation started really heating up. But, yeah, they, they know what they're doing is wrong creators and you're seeing it everywhere it's like people are not showing their children which mm -hmm. respect like either way like however you no no respect those who don't not respect those who do it's not respect either way no stop saying this i respect you if you want no you don't res no none of us respect you if you exploit your children online you do not get respect you don't oh you are not owed respect you're owed disrespect want to parent i think is awesome um, and how and I love this. Uh, sorry, I know we keep pausing, but I love this whole like. And you know, however you want to parent, it's this isn't a parenting thing, okay? It's not. It's an exploitation thing. If it were a parenting thing, none of you would do it because exploitation is wrong, okay? If you were good parents, you wouldn't be doing this. It's not like a. It's not a parenting. It's not a way to parent. And so maybe it is a way of parenting, right? But it's a bad way of parenting. Right? Exploitation is not a good way to parent. And so when you say, well, however you want to do it, no. How, would you say that to somebody who's abusing their children? No, you wouldn't. But they do that. And so they have to say, however you want. And so we do it that way. And they have to justify it by making it fluffy. How much you want to show, I don't think it, it's up to the parent, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, for us, a big thing for me is like the second that our kids like don't want to be filmed or like uh, here we go. they're like don't want to be in a video or something that's like the end of it for me like oh is it the end of it for you and how and when are they going to be able to do that there dumbass why you guys dye your hair too um why do you guys fake why is it fake blonde they're both fake blondes too it's really bugging me anyway but that's they all say this as soon as my kid says they don't want to be in a vlog i'm not going to put them in a vlog no you're not and your kids are too young to say it now anyway. And your kids will always be too young to say yes or no. You get to make that choice for your children. So what she's saying is that my kids are right now, I make the choice for them. I make the choice to give away their privacy, to put them in front of millions and millions of people, including hundreds of thousands of predators that are online. And we know it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. That group of predators is only growing as they get more savvy with this stuff, okay? You chose to give away your kids' lives on the internet for money, okay? And when they one day they say they don't want to and you need to make your money that way, you're not gonna let them do that. You're gonna coerce them into not doing that. They'll never be able to give you informed consent until they're old enough to do so. And then by then, it's gonna be way too late anyway. 
All these family vloggers, they are going to get their just desserts from all their children because these people are the fakest ass people that ever exist. If you are a type of person who could film everything on the internet, I mean boob jobs, liposuction, injections, your vag while you're giving birth and everything and all everything in between, you're not a good person. Disingenuous, you're not real. And so you are that type of parent too, unfortunately. Now, do they love their kids? Probably, but they don't love them enough to protect them. When you think about this argument of exploitation, it really boils down to the protection of your children. With what we know about who's out there and engaging with what type of content, if you, again, all I have to say, would you send your children off? Would you even bring them with you to a place where you knew it was filled with millions and millions of people, including hundreds of thousands of predators? Would you bring them there? Would you let your kids go to a place and you knew that there were predators there? You wouldn't if you were a good parent. You just wouldn't do it. I will not yeah. do that. Yeah. But it's it's such a hard topic because we are trying, we've talked about this, we are trying to like figure out a way of how we can kind of not show them. At Why? You said it was fine. As much. But as much Why? Yeah. Why? But also... So you must think it's wrong. If you're sitting here saying we're trying to figure out a way not to show them, then that tells me that you think it's wrong. So that's it. That's the argument. Boom. You just eliminated your whole shit. So if you think it's right, why are you trying to show them less? You must think it's wrong. Right? Okay. So that we're in agreement. But you're not going to, are you? I, I don't know. People like do get so much joy from like seeing yeah. our kids and seeing like it's... our life. We have so many DMs and, and messages and just like people like, I love your family so much. You've been such a... And you don't find that weird? positive impact in my life mm -hmm. so it's like a fine line of like we still want to be those happy positive mm -hmm. light for people you're fake though you're fake and you're showing people fake shit and you don't feel bad about that that you're showing people the only the good parts the fake side of you that's you don't feel bad about that okay well, i don't know yeah, if that's it making is, sense it's but also no you're not it's so much of our life at the same mm -hmm. time it's like of course we're with our kids constantly, yes. and so it's hard to not have them in it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it feels like. Oh, okay. But I do. Or go get a real job or something. Go do something else. You know, could do that too. I mean, yeah. But not even that. It's like I'll challenge these people like I challenge everybody else. Take your kids off for 30 days and see what happens to your view counts. Just 30 days. Remove them out of all your videos or blank their faces or whatever, like my night did. Just do me that favor. They're trying to justify, like, you know, we're, we're people are there to watch us, but our family's there. No, they're there to watch your children. The children are where I, like, these people look like the most boring people on earth. Who's watching them? Right? You grow your platform because of children. Your top, all of your top videos, all the way down, is all about your children. That's what they're there for. You can't argue that point. When your top video is literally, when your top videos is your vag on the camera. Okay? I'm sorry. Your top videos are your children. That's what they're there for. You don't need any other proof. Look. I've sorted by popular babies, babies, a gender reveal, finding out I'm pregnant. It's about pregnancy or your babies, not about you. In your top 10 videos, in your top 20, I'm going to keep going. There's nothing where it's just doesn't have to do with babies. There's nothing here. It's like, hey, we went to this. I went and did this. Oh, house tour right there. And we have big news, probably announcing pregnancy. So there's nothing in that indicates to me that people are here to watch you. They're here to watch your children. And if that doesn't freak you out, there's something wrong with you. Man, they don't even have that many videos on here. And they made 2 billion views. It must be a lot of shorts. So not making as much money as I said, but man, damn these people. Like, I actually love having our YouTube videos because they feel like... Oh. Only home oh, is she going to say memories? Videos. Yeah. yeah. Like that I will be able to go back. Yeah. Oh, the memory. 355. We're filming this for memories. Oh, you see, it's almost like you don't watch anything else or the arguments happening. Wait, I'm so glad these members, so put them on the internet, fine. But why are you sharing them with millions of people? Stop saying this bullshit excuse. Because even the memories that you create on your channel are fake. They are created. They're not real. Watch, like, our lives together and our kids and, like, I it don't know cool. how you'd... I don't know, what do What's you guys tough? think about I mean, that? I think your excuse is stupid. There's definitely a right and a wrong way to do it. Yeah. And I think people oh, think here that we go. having kids on social media is just a big no completely. I, I think they're wrong. 
Well, because you make your money doing it. Of course you think people are wrong. You're biased. You know, I think they're wrong because I have to do this to make my millions. So, of course they're wrong. I mean, how could they be right? Because... It's not like, okay, so take the film industry. You can't just say, oh, the, no more child actors because there's... Oh, are the, oh these people... <laughs> Holy shit. And parents that have abused that. Wow. And taken money from their kids and exploited their kids. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's it's over. No, no more. more. Like, and you have to be like, 18 no, to be in a movie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. We're not talking about movies, dumbass. And again, they're using, it's, this is the excuse I've heard from so many people. What about child actors? <laughs> these aren't child actors. Child actors have protections. They have laws in place, like child labor laws, which you guys don't adhere to. They have Coogan laws, which you guys probably don't adhere to. They have to be educated. They have to this, this, this. There's a million things that a child who's an actor has to go through. I'm not saying I agree with it, because it's definitely not a good rule for them either. So we can say that both are wrong, but he's trying to say, well, if there's child actors, then we can do our thing. But don't forget that child actors, you don't know their personal life. They're acting a character on a film. You don't know when they went to the hospital or when they started their period or when they're shaving their leg. You don't know any of that shit because you don't know their personal lives. How are these people so obtuse to not see that? Because they don't want to see it. That's why. There's, there needs to be regulations. There yeah. needs to be laws made to protect these kids. We yeah. need to see that in the social media world. That doesn't exist right now, mm -hmm. as far as I'm aware. But like, And here you are taking, he's admitting it, and here we are taking advantage of it. We it's need to it's see in that. the works now. It's in the works it, now. And it needs yeah. to, it, it should be. But like, the thing is, there's a right and a wrong way to do it. And you're totally right. Like, it's cool to have those memories. It's cool to share that with There is a right, oh my God, I can't believe to say this. There is a right and wrong way. The wrong way is to exploit your children on the internet at all. Zero. And I know that people are like black and white. Look, I don't care if you're a nobody channel and you're posting and you're just posting kids on your Instagram. Like you have ten followers or hundred even. Okay, if you are not making money off your children, you're not exploiting your children. That's basically it. But I would still be careful with what we now know, of course. But if you if your children are the reason you make income, like if you go back to my video, ten things I hate about family vlogging. That's not fair to your children. There is no protections place that there should be. So then, why don't you fight for that? You wouldn't, because it would ruin everything. You wouldn't make your millions of dollars. These people are so dumb. People, but then you're also right in that if your kid doesn't want to film, yeah. turn off the freaking camera. Yeah. Exactly. Like, your kid has literally just been birthed. How are they gonna tell you that? I, There's been parents that have abused it. this and, and, yeah. and exploited their kids for views. And, and that's really- He's trying to say that they're not these people who do that because yes, you are. You're the same, you're the person you're talking about, buddy. You exploit your children. They cannot give you consent. And you're, and again, you're forgetting that they just had a baby two months ago. How is that baby going to consent? What is wrong with you? Is that, and I would never, ever want that, like, mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. No, I think, yeah, I think totally. we doing a good job, yeah. too. And we balance each other out. No, you don't. I just looked at your shit. It's all your kids. Sarah is very much always reminding me of that. Sometimes I kind of have blinders on and I'm like, oh, this is a cute thing we should be doing. Like, why aren't we filming mm -hmm. this? Um, and Sarah's like, Derek, Derek, look, let's enjoy this moment. Like, I fire. We don't need to be filming this. Um, and we, we balance each other out. With that. Such a liar. Kind of still produce more content because I'm constantly like, oh, that's a funny video. Mm -hmm. Like, whatever. Yeah. Um, she, you can see by what Sarah's face, whatever her name is, she knows that's a bullshit lie. Like, you guys see that we can see you lie, right? Because all we have to do is look at your content. If I went to your Instagram, I'm sure I have millions of pictures of your kids on it. Like, you're lying. But I will say something that gets tricky is we work with brands and these brands, uh -huh. like, hey, we want to send you guys some kids toys and we want you to promote these kids toys and we love them and our kid loves them. But then this day that they want this deadline mm. for the for the video to be submitted, our kid doesn't want to doesn't want to film that day that we're supposed yeah. to be filming. Uh. And so that gets a little tricky and we're like, OK, like, what do we do? You don't do it. Stop selling your kids to corporations. That's what you do. And again, I'm glad they're admitting all this stuff out loud. Right? We you we get a benefit for having kids. We get paid and again, they're getting paid millions of dollars and they're getting paid tens and tens and tens of thousands of dollars to use their children in advertising, which they don't have labor laws in place for that. Brands who use these kids use them because they can avoid the labor laws, the Coogan laws, and all those laws. That should be regulated instantly. Because they're not. And that's why brands will spend money on them because it saves them tons of money. 
Something you know? I haven't even considered. Wow. Yeah. It's tricky. Some, like, oh, you didn't consider that? Oh. A boundary you set, like, with a brand. It's like, if you're wanting my kid in this content, exactly. you have to be flexible with the yeah. timeline. And I think because... everyone's kind of learning that. It's yeah. like, these brands need to also realize that, like, okay, if we're trying to work with kids, like, that's hard. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes we get this brand feedback. We're like, we need this now. And I'm yeah. going, like, our kid isn't but also, like, wanting to do this. I think you guys are creepy and gross. Imagine this conversation. I need to force my kid to make advertising so we make money. The cool thing about this is like, I feel like anytime Jack is in a job or it's kind of revolving around him, like we want to set aside like a chunk and like have him. Oh, have nice. That There's a little chunk there, Jack. College or that like, is true. Yeah. Do you know what Just I mean? a little chunk. That's nice of you guys. It's it's really help him out. Like, yeah. Help him out. You're going to help. Oh, good for you guys. You're going to help him out a little bit. You're such good parents. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You don't have anything without Jack. Jack should get the lion's share of the shit that you put aside. You guys should get a little chunk of it. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, uh, you know, he helped him out a little bit when he gets to college. Here's a few hundred thousand. We made 10 million, though. Here's a here's a penny or two. These parents, look at them. These assholes, man. He's a working man. He's a working little man. Wait, you know? buddy. Yeah, she just admitted there. He's working. Do you guys pay, do you guys pay Jack out of your business, like we, his salary? We don't, but we... We've had these conversations with friends. Did you just say you did? It's, it's kind of more just like a savings just account. Like okay, a, nice. Just having... So you do. He's like in it. I don't you don't. You're lying. They're lying to you right now. They don't have anything put aside for Jack. Yeah, it's, it's tough, tough to figure, figure out. out. It's very tough we to figure set up out. A no, it's not. Roth IRA for Griffin. It's <laughs> actually think? okay. Technically, technically, his Roth IRA is not set up yet, but it's happening. We've oh been, it's in the works. Okay, first. so we set up this Roth IRA. No, we didn't. Okay, no, we didn't. But we might maybe sometime later. I don't know. We'll just see how much more money we get. <laughs> These people are... Are you crazy? Tax guy. But yeah, like Griffin's like an employee. Like yeah. he's, oh he's getting paid. Well, he's like, if he's appearing in the videos, it's like, that kid's going to make some money. Like he... he yeah. Yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, you use it so you can do a tax write-off. He's an employee. And I hope you're following the labor laws of children labor. Who is this family? I don't know. I'm going to find them now. If they're paying their child as an employee, then they have to follow child labor laws. And I guarantee you they're not. Where do these people live? Probably Utah. Are they Mormon? I guarantee you they're, they're, they sound like fucking Mormons. So if these people are, are paying their child as an employee and they just admitted it on camera... I mean, that's IRA. That's IRS thinking, hey, do you guys follow child labor laws and how do you prove that you do? Right? They could be like, that's crazy. They just admitted that. Definitely have a good yeah. fun going for him when he goes to, yeah. he wants to go to college or, or totally. whatever he wants to do. Yeah. You but know? like circling back to like the whole social media thing, like definitely our number one priority as parents is to protect our children. Yeah. And how many parent, how many family vloggers have you heard say this exact phrase? Like in that exact wording, it's like they all got the same email. Here's what you need to say. Our number one priority is my children. Then why don't you prove it? Right? Instead of saying the shit, because you have to say it, it's not the thing, you just need to prove it by saying, if your child was your number one concern, if your child's safety was your number one concern, they wouldn't be all over your, fi your channel. They wouldn't be in front of millions of people. They wouldn't be in front of predators. It wouldn't be parasocial relationships developed with strangers on the internet. Your number one priority is not your children's safety. Because if it was, you wouldn't do any of that shit. So stop saying the shit. And so that's, you know, that's always what we want to do. So then I definitely dang, second dang, guess dang. myself when, um, like, I see a lot of people are like, I'm not, like, never showing my kids again. Yeah. Because then yep. I'm like, I know there are creepers out there. And I yeah. know there are, like, Lots. scary things. But at the same time, it's... No, there's no but. Listen here. Bring it in here, Blondie. Bring it in here. Holy shit. Bring it on in. Bring it on in here. As soon as you say, I know there are creepers and predators online, and you know that, and you, as soon as you say that and admit that to everybody that we've all heard right now, you don't ever get to say the word but. Do you understand how that sounds? Right? Do you understand? So, I know there are predators at the park where my kids goes and plays, but, you know, I need them to get out and get exercise. I need them to get to the park and have some fun. No! So when you admit the things that these people are admitting and then you're like, but we got to make money. Kind of just like, so are kids never, ever going to be shown anywhere? Yes, like, yes, yes. Of course, like our number one priority is protecting. Our no, you stop saying it. Stop saying that. Kids. And that's version. also hard to receive that kind of like backlash from people. That's you like, know, you're exploring yeah. your kids. Yeah. Your kids. Like, okay, you that... It makes you feel so bad. You should feel bad with that hair. You should also feel bad that you exploit your children and then you're like, I feel bad when somebody says I'm exploiting my kid. Well, do you know why you feel bad? You feel guilty. 
because you know it's right. You know what we're saying is correct. So you must be feeling some kind of way about something, right? That makes sense to me. Good for you. At least you have a conscience. That's nice. So if, you, if you're feeling bad, then it must mean that we're right. But why won't you change it? If, you're, if we're right, because money matters more than their kid's safety. And when you have to say it multiple times that we care about our kid's safety, but then don't show us that you care about your kid's safety, your kids are going to see that someday. Mom, did you care about my safety? Yeah. Then why did you put me online and share my private moments for the entire world to see? I didn't, you know, now that I'm older, I didn't want that. And I can't choose that now. Oh, that yeah. comment to me, when it hurts, it hurts more than any other comment. Oh, yeah. Good. I hope it hurts. It should hurt. It's, that's good. And it, just her saying that again just proves to you that she feels guilty about it, which means that we're right. And she knows we're right. See, when, like, I don't even care. You can say whatever you want about me. And it's okay with the claw hands. Everybody claw hands. She has Obviously not skin. great. But like, if you start commenting on like how we parent or like uh, that we're exploiting our yeah. kids, those really hurt my feelings. Yeah. 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 I want you should have your hurt. You, yes. Yes. Good. I hope your feelings are hurt. I hope you wake your, I hope it keeps you up at night that you exploit your children and you know you do. I hope you're like, oh my God, what are we doing? Are the millions going to be worth it when our marriage fails because we're fake ass people? Are the millions going to be worth it when our kids turn their backs on us when they become teenagers and they hate us for what we did to them? Is it really going to be worth it on your deathbed when you chose money and fame over the, over the welfare and safety of your children and bonds that you could have built with your kids and the moments that you could have spent and the normalcy your children could have had? Is that money really going to trump all that shit that you could have had instead? And I know it at this moment when you're young and, and fresh and everything else, yeah, the money matters more, of course. But in, I tell you when, you, when you get older like me, I'm a little older than you guys, probably like 20 years older than these people. I promise you, man, you're gonna regret every moment that you decided to, to prioritize money over your children, every single moment. And you know it, I think, and I think they know it. You are, I would say as like close personal friends of you guys, you guys are incredible parents and you care the most about your kids. Oh, they care the most uh, over who? Th more than you? The most over who? It's not competition. If you cared the most about your children, you would not. It's so simple, everybody. It's so simple. If you care about your children, you would not do what these people do. Because all it shows me is that you're selfish and you're greedy and you care more about your bank than you do about your kids. It's just, and it's so easily provable by looking at their content. Man, these people are dumb. They should have stayed in school. Try again. Thanks. So, like, when you just hear something that's so false, yeah. you're just like, oh, my gosh. Like, it you're just sure allowed to not. sit there and say that about me, and it's 100% not true. What What is not true? They're talking about exploitation right now, right? What's not 100% true? It is 100% true and provable that you exploit your children. Now, you might not like the word. Fine. You employ your children. How about that? Is that better for you? You pay them. Okay, cool. They're still children, everybody. It is 100% percent true that your kids cannot give informed consent to what you are doing you are putting them their shit on the internet for everybody to watch including predators which you have told us that you know exist so what do you mean i can just say whatever i want all we have to do is look with our eyes and that's the bubble that these people live in that's why this is so dangerous because they think that they're just that, i mean i get it you have to justify your existence i understand that because how else do you live with yourself how else can you live with being a parent who loves their child but exploits them, right? I understand that. It's human nature, but you're shitty for doing it. Yeah. People start jumping in and they're like, yeah, like, what are you doing? And, you know, we get all these people just I'm literally like tearing up. up right now. Oh, you do. I see. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. People said I exploit my kids. you got to be kidding me right now. You're going to throw out the crocodile tears because you've been... Guys, if this... Honestly, this gives me hope for these two people. She knows what she is doing is wrong to the point where she's making her cry because she knows she's wrong. She knows what she's doing is exploiting her child. And she's thought about this multiple times. He's thought about it too. He doesn't care as much as she does. But she's the one here at the conscience. She knows what she is doing is wrong. And she hears the argument. Hopefully she's watching this video. Hi, dumbass. You know what you're doing is wrong. Otherwise, why is it affecting you like it's affecting you? It's so not true and it's not fair. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, why? <laughs> because you feel guilty, that's why. But good for you. Good for you. Grab onto that feeling of guilt and conviction. Hold on to it. And remember these words. Your kids will thank you if you give them their privacy. It's not too late. It's not too late. 
but you obviously feel some kind of something about when someone says that to you. Otherwise, you would just let it roll off because it doesn't matter to you. Like these assholes over here who seem to not give a shit at all, who are so cocky and selfish. They're like, well, I'll just pay my kid, you know? We got the savings account. No, we don't. We don't have the savings account. Look at the difference. That one in the middle, that blonde girl in the middle is the only one in this room with a conscience right now. Okay. No, it's literally like such literally a thing for me that like we care more about our kids than anything. Yeah. <sighs> That's the third time she said it. And I know you I know you want it to be true. I do know you want it to be true. And I know you think in your heart you do, but I think you also know in your heart, Kim, or whatever the hell your name is, you know it's not true when you prioritize cash over your kids. You know it. She knows it. And that gives me hope right there that she's bawling her eyes out for this. I don't, I'm not, I'm not angry at her crying and fake crying over this thing. I'm actually, I think she's having a realization here. So, mm -hmm. 100%. Holy cow, sorry guys. It's okay. No, Next good. question. <laughs> no, but you can really tell. You brought it back up. Oh, you guys are great parents. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Hey, thanks for telling us. Yeah, no, you're not. I'm telling you right now, whatever your faces are, LeBrant clones, you're not good parents. You could be. You could change the route right now. You could do a 180. Just put yourselves on your channel. Don't talk about your kids. Don't put them on there. Maybe in passing. Sure. You could be. You could have a redemption arc here. You really could. But you don't want to. I mean, you guys have made millions and millions of dollars. Is that enough yet? Is it enough yet to change your mind? I don't think so. It's, it's such a frustrating thing. It's frustrating. It's like there's, there's so many cool things about being able to, mm -hmm. to do this and to, to create content. As a Money is what he's saying. There's so many things you can get. It's just money. Money is everything. Money. And, well, I guess they want their fame and their dopamine hits. Yeah, and remember, she said, you know, we get so many DMs. People love us. I've heard that excuse so many times from family vloggers. You know, I don't want to take people's joy away. Like, the audacity of you. I'm sure they'll find joy somewhere else. They'll be okay without you. Like, they think that they need to be here. And they need to show their kids because people are like, I love your kids. That's so fucking weird, man. If a stranger says, I can't go on my day without seeing your kids, that's too far family but there's a, a big negative side as, mm -hmm. as well and it, it gets hard yeah. after, after a while mm -hmm. just seeing those mm -hmm. types of, of comments but mm -hmm. good good i hope they happen more she's very passionate yeah. about this subject because she is yeah. at the end of the day that you guys too are great yeah. parents and they're we just, said this, like Sarah's a damn good mom <laughs> you, how do you know how do you know Oh, you're a great no. mom, Sarah. You guys are both you guys are both seriously incredible parents yeah. how do you know you don't know these shits you don't know these people. You're on a podcast. You watch their YouTube channel. You don't know shit about these people. Everybody said that about freaking Taylor Frankie Paul. She is now probably going to end up in jail because she threw a bar stool and hit her child on a couch. Just so you guys are aware. Everybody thinks they're all so good. You don't see shit about these people. You don't know anything about them. And I'm going to tell you this. If you have the capacity to exploit your child for cash, then I think you have the capacity to be way worse in other ways too. Negligent at minimum. Okay? So if you are the type of person that can do those things to your child, you're the type of person that can also abuse them and also not care about anything about them. Like you can say that all you want. I'm just saying, I'm not saying they are that way, but I'm trying to tell you, if you have these traits that we can see, then I don't believe anything about what you say about being a good parent. Thanks. And yeah, same we, as you guys. We, we stayed awesome. with, thank you, man. We stayed yeah. with their Thanks. therapy for 10 days um so like here here in hawaii and like just watching you guys do your thing uh derek was uh, a single dad essentially for five we days we well, stop saying shit like this too single dad for five days because your wife went away for a couple days you're not a single dad you dumbass you're just a dad why are, and i know a lot of you guys will still agree with me on this why are dads getting a pat on the shoulder for being normal parents Stop giving normal dads who do shit that they're supposed to do pats on the shoulder for shit that moms do all the time. That's not how this goes. Stop celebrating this type of shit. Oh, I'm going to take care of my kids five days. Oh. Cue sad music. Oh, my God. Did you have to watch your kids for five days? Shut your damn pie hole. You're making us men look bad, asshole. Get into this. Well, a lot fun. of poop has hit the fan. Yes, you guys. Yes, but no, yeah. no, you, you got to hear yeah. about this though. Derek was literally watching um, with Jack and Sonny single-handedly. Like Abby. And oh I my God! Single-handedly, he was being a dad to his kids. Oh my God! Get this guy a trophy. We're busy with Griffin and like doing work one stuff kid. on our own. But that's yeah, not a newborn. <laughs> we were yeah going crazy with one kid, but Derek was handling two kids, and then you got your so, you tore your meniscus. Tore the meniscus while you were skateboarding, and Tiny. then of course that guy's a skateboarder. Let me guess, they're teen parents. 
No, they're Mormons, right? They're Mormons. Yeah, you got your. You I, I've been looking at the thread a little bit about them, and apparently she, if this is true, I don't know, but apparently this girl, the girl, the the fake blonde, um, had a boyfriend who went on a Mormon mission. And st found this guy, started dating him, and got engaged while her boyfriend was still on a Mormon mission. Could you imagine getting back? I mean, like, Joseph Smith, I dedicate my life to this. I don't want to be in the outer darkness. Get back, and your girlfriend already married some douchebag who's a skateboarder. <laughs> make it make sense. If it's true, it's gross. But apparently she said, well, it was just assumed that we would date other people. You can't date other people while you're on a mission. So if it's true, she's kind of a Josie Grossy. Let's be real. Your, um, e your bike stolen. stolen. Mm -hmm. But that was even the first time. They got their e-bike yeah. stolen we twice in the past times. month, right? Hey, how about you lock your shit up then, asshole? So two different e-bikes, yeah. So This was the new e-bike. This was the and our truck. Hold up right there, though. Yeah, so. Have you guys heard of locking shit? I don't know. Just, just the fuck. Take care of your stuff. So in the past, can't take care of shit. How you take care of your kids? Last month, Derek and Sarah have gotten two e-bikes stolen, which are like five grand, right? Yep. Then they got their truck stolen, the really cute truck that Sarah had so ever since memories. they so many were memories. in high school. They said so many firsts, which kind of sketched me out a little oh, bit. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't say it like that. <laughs> so many. We're a lot of firsts. Soaking. Hey, oh, wow. did you guys really? Yeah. No. What? No way. <laughs> yeah, we did. We've yeah. never in the Our car. First? You guys did no. it in the car? Oh, I guess we didn't fully. No, oh. we, what the heck? Oh, we, did it right after we, we fully did not in the it, car. Okay. It's close. Dude. Don't forget, this is your kids are gonna hear this someday. I, okay, we have never done it in the car. Though. Okay. <laughs> okay. But he thinks he has and she doesn't, so I don't know what to think of that. We, have have you guys long, done it no. in the car? That was a never. special car. That was a special <laughs> Your film camera. Oh, the camera. camera. Oh. And that was new. So that was And we sad. all know those are pricey. They're pricey. Yes. Because they're true. My IDs. Your IDs. My credit cards. Uh, oh my. Did you yeah. close? Did you cancel those credit cards? No, she left them open. You didn't cancel one of them. Still oh my out God. there. You idiots. You check that you out. You might want to check I that. I have been monitoring it because I just. I know, just Why are you monitoring a stolen credit card, you dickwad? Cancel it if you've been know. monitoring it. I don't know. I'll cancel so it. So what's the total <laughs> value? They that their card's been run. Of all the <laughs> stuff. Anyway. I'm on a little ski trip. Even if I. Okay, so I think that was basically it. I'm not going to go through the rest of this shit because I'm just going to snark. Like, they are snark worthy for sure. So there you go. I mean, I, I, that made me upset because these people seem to be out here relatively new, three, four years. They know what's going on. They know the exploitation. Um, it should give you hope that she cries about being, ex, you know, being called a, an exploiter and a selfish idiot. And he's in a boy and, and her husband's like, mm, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> but that's there. I mean, that gave me a little bit of hope. I'm not going to lie. She knows what she's doing is wrong. Nobody else seems to think that it's wrong. But then she admits, yeah, we're trying to figure out a way to get our kids off there more. But why? There's so many ways that we shut this shit down, and they don't seem to understand that they're wrong. This guy admits that he's employing his child, but are you following Coogan account laws? Are you following child actor laws? Because if you're employing them, you're getting a tax break from the employment. That's why they employ their children, because you get a tax break. You give them a salary, and you get the tax break. And you could put that salary in your own bank account, because it's part of your family's income. So they're just using it as a tax loophole. So IRS intensifies. Anyway, these people and their damned excuses. I hope that you feel bad about being called child explorers because you are. There's no other way you can put it. And that other one there with the creaky ass voice. It's so wrong and you're a good mom. No, you are stupid because all we have to do is look with our eyes. Ugly voice. And get a different voice for the love of God, please. Save us all. But yeah, I'm going to continue with all the beasts. I'm sure they got some videos I can snark on. It's going to be pretty fun. What do you guys think below? What, what should I know about this family? And who is this other, who is this other John Stamos haircut looking guy? Who are they? I want to look, I want to snark on their shit too. So anyway, everybody take a deep breath. Mmm, so nice. Hey guys, thanks for being here for these conversations. These are important because these people need to be educated and you know they're going to watch this. So good. You know, make sure to go leave hate on their comments, but maybe encourage her to be like, hey, I noticed that you had a really tough time with that whole exploitation thing. You're on the right path to understanding that you're, what you're doing is wrong. I encourage you to look more into it and protect your kids more. Protect your damn children, you assholes. All of you are assholes, but you guys aren't assholes. You're amazing, credible and valuable. Don't fly flare. Don't fly American Airlines either. Or don't, and don't watch their shit, okay? And I'll see you tomorrow.